Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm Jim Weber with your tropical update. And you look at this satellite presentation of Tropical Storm Marco, and you, you look at this, and if you're saying, hey, something doesn't quite look right, you would be right. The actual center of this storm is located right through here, right in the middle of that circle. But all the deeper convection is all sitting to the north and the east of the storm. So what we actually have going on is in the upper levels of the atmosphere, some very strong south and southwesterly wind shear, which what it has done, it has blown the tops right off of this storm. So this is not a well-defined system, obviously. You look at the rain, and all the heavy rain is working its way over the panhandle, and much of it has already made its way on shore. So as this system continues that track onto the northwest and makes landfall, a lot of the rain will continue to be well to the north of the actual center of this storm. This is obviously the biggest threat, rainfall, heavy rainfall with this as we go through the next couple of days. So here is the satellite and the wind shear combined. And you can see uh, here is the center of the storm it is inside of this circle. Then you have that very strong wind shear across the Western Gulf of Mexico. That's not gonna change anytime soon. But notice as you look down towards Laura, which the center is located right about here, uh, this is gonna continue to work its way onto the Northwest. And for the time being, notice it's moving into an area with very light wind shear. So we've got light wind shear. We also have very warm waters across the Gulf of Mexico. So these are ideal conditions that you see Marco really struggling but we're going to see Laura really starting to flourish as we go through the next couple of days as it gets out over open water. So computer models indicating there's a high potential that we could see rapid intensification with this storm as it works its way on towards the north. So here's the latest on Marco, 28.5, 88.5. Top winds right now are at 50 miles an hour, but it's interesting to note the 50 mile an hour winds aren't near the center. They're actually displaced over into those uh, larger areas of convection that are to the north and east of the centers. It works its way on shore. We see the heavy rains over the next couple of days across parts of Louisiana and into Texas. That's all there was. Wouldn't be as big of an issue, but right on its heels, you've got to watch Tropical Storm Laura, which is going to become a hurricane. Uh, currently, winds are at 60 miles an hour. It's moving to the west-northwest at 20 miles an hour. And there you see that forecast track heading right into these same areas that are being affected by Marco as we go through the next couple of days. And uh, right now the forecast is for category two winds of 105 miles an hour. I'll tell you with the possibility of rapid intensification, there is certainly the possibility that this could go stronger than that. This could end up being a major hurricane at landfall. So obviously not a very good situation across portions of Louisiana as we go through the next several days. You look at the wave heights, and you can see just how intense this is going to be. So the storm surge, the heavy winds, uh, you're seeing that red shaded area, that is over 20 to 22 foot seas working their way towards the coastline, the waves. So we will continue to monitor both of these storms and keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.